Hello everyone, welcome to another Rex Picks. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of review. I'm going to be reviewing the RoboCop 2 Kane Model Kit. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be looking at it in box, and then I'm going to look at all the pieces, directions, and accessories, and so forth that comes with it. And now, this is where I'm going to need your help with. After I do the review, what I would like you guys to do is let me know, would you like me to later on review the figure as complete or would you like me to do it in stages so what i'll be doing is like i'd progress a little bit in the build i'll show you know build number one and then next time i progress a little bit more build number two and so forth and so forth until it's finished so uh let me know in the comments which one would you prefer to see would you want to see once again you know the build or just when i'm finished with it do a review on a finished model so please let me know in the comments because I'm going to base how I'm going to do the rest of this review off of your comments. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but really help this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. All right, so here he is in packaging. I really love the way how this box art looks. You got, you know, this nice picture of the model right here, the RoboCop logo. Uh, who he is, RoboCop 2, Kane, uh, the company that makes it, and so forth. I like this nice matted picture in the background with RoboCop with the crosshairs on his chest. I think that looks really cool. Spin it around this way. And now you got this really nice picture of the model again. Uh, the name of the figure, the companies that make it, and so forth. Spin it around once more. And now you get this really nice picture, and it shows, like, all the different features, uh, ways you can display him. You got some legal down here in the bottom. Spin it around this way. You get another picture of the uh, figure, his name, the companies, and so forth. All right. Pop it over this way. You get this really nice picture, once again, of the figure, uh, his name. The RoboCop 2 logo. And then you get pretty much the same picture here as you did on the top. So, with that being said, let's open it up and see what he's about. Hey, are you going to be in the Philadelphia area between September 9th and 10th? If so, check out RetroCon. It's affordable. They have lots of great vendors. There's going to be cosplay competitions, celebrities, and much, much more. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. And also, Samuel J. Jones is going to be there, better known as Flash Gordon. So check it out. Plus, singer and actor Tom Wopak, best known as Luke Duke from the Dukes of Hazards. Greg Evigan will be there, best known for BJ and the Bear, My Two Dads, and Tech Wars. Voice actress Kathy Garver will be there, the one and only Firestar from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Next on our list, all the way from Cybertron, the hit rock band Cybertronic Spree. And check this out, the rare Hasbro Proton Pack as a raffle prize. Now, you can't beat that. All right, so here we have everything laid out. Um, if you look at some of the pieces, I'm not going to take them out of the bags just because of the factor that I don't want to lose anything before I start to build on them. But you have basically two, two to three different colors. So you have a really dark color uh, plastic pieces. Then you have like almost like a darker gray. And then you have more silvery pieces, okay? He also comes with a couple of joints here that come with springs as well. So I'm interested to see how that works. And more joints here that also are spring-loaded. So he got some really cool stuff. There's a lot of really nice detail onto this, you know, um, with these different pieces and what have you. All right. Comes with some real hoses. All right. A few decals, 
All right, and he also has three different screen heads here, which is kind of cool. All right. And then, some of this stuff aside, you have the directions. All right. So this is the directions here. And I love the front to this. It really pops at you. You know, it looks really nice. Very colorful. So you open it up. All right. You get a few more pictures of the figure that you're going to be building. Uh, it's right here it shows where all the decals are going and what have you, which is really nice. All right. And right here shows you everything that comes with him. So um, if you're confused on what you got, if you're missing anything, right here shows you, you know, all the stuff that it comes with. And then now you start getting into the build. And the nice thing is, is it shows you, you know, how to match up parts, where to cut off of the spews for um, your figure, how to do, you know, the decal work, which is really nice. And then you start getting into the build and what have you. And it also, in a couple of spots, actually shows, let's see, see, shows here how to paint stuff, how to set up the hoses. And everything so the directions for him is really nice you know very well detailed the only problem is you need to know how to read Japanese to understand any of the directions so you know all of this came straight Japanese so and then at the end it shows when you're finished with them the diff different features and what have you so this is going to be a really cool build I think I'm really going to enjoy putting this together. And like I said earlier, let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Should I do it, you know, progressive videos? So as I build a little bit more, a little bit more, I'd share videos with you. Or if you guys just want to wait and see what he looks like when he's done. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. So with that being said, this part of this review is done. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, go ahead and hit a like button or hit that subscribe button. You know, it's a small click for you, but it would really help this channel grow. So until the next one, late.